is paradise. So we are going on a road trip to West Wales, We've taken some time off and typical Welsh weather, it is tipping it down. We haven't really got a major plan. We are heading for Boshaston and we're hopefully going to pack up and go walk around the lily ponds. We got the van, so we're going to hopefully find a campsite. And uh, yeah, Boshaston today, then we're going Newport and Cardigan in Pembrokeshire and hopefully take you around see where we go for food. We've had some sandwich before we left. I was starving, getting hungry. I'm gonna do a little mini guide to West Wales, where to visit, where to eat, what to do. Cause I had a look um, for, for like us to go for places that I can't speak. Cause I found I was struggling when I was looking for places for us to, to visit. So hopefully this will be beneficial if you're looking for places to visit in West Wales. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ad Cowley and I put up with Georgia. So we're gonna do this little tour today and tomorrow and the next day I expect. And um, I'll show you what I have to do to put up with Georgia. <laughs> so we've just parked up in Boshaston and we're gonna do like a one hour circular walk to the lily ponds and it takes us to, what's, what's the beach called again? Broadhaven and back. Hi, so welcome back to my channel. I'm Adam. Here we are on day one, walking around the lily ponds with Georgia. Got a bad leg, she brings me hiking <laughs> on a holiday. <laughs> Very pretty. Luckily it stopped raining. The sun is trying to come out. I did think about putting my bikini on, but I haven't, so. I'm scared of wildlife. I'm just gonna have to put my feet in the water when we get to the beach. <laughs> Amazing! How was that for you? Very nice. We found a campsite by the beach. With a local brewery. Nice local brewery, yeah, brewed next door. We're in the Victoria area. We're not going to have food here, but we've been told to come here for a beer and it does taste really good. Food next door, and then we're going to go back to the pub by the campsite. We've just been given a, a golf buggy. <laughs> See if we want to put our van at the top of the hill. So, um, yeah, I think that's where the view is, apparently. Bye now. Did he tell you this is where we yeah. could go? Yeah. <gasps> Oh my, wow. We've just been given access to that. Come, use this spot with that view. Okay, so we've decided we're totally staying up there because the view is amazing. So thank you, what's his name? I don't know. Mark, Mike from Newgill Campsite. So we're gonna stay there. And we've got a pub on our doorstep and waking up to that view is gonna be lush, so. Mission now is to actually drive to the top of the hill where we are going to put the van. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Adam is going to prove his driving skills up um, a very steep slope. <laughs> and we made it. It was pretty simple actually. And look at the view. Look at the view from where we are. And they say the sun doesn't shine in Wales. I did say earlier, I'm very hopeful with the sunshine. So look at this view. I mean, it doesn't really get better. Howdy y'all. And we've got a pub, like a minute walk down there with a toilet there and the sea is there. That is it for day one of our camping trip, road trip even in West Wales. Actually, no, we haven't been for food yet. <laughs> <sighs>
coupable. She's got a GNT. Amazing, so we had the best meal ever in the pub and I'm gonna put all the details in the description below. The food was outstanding. So we've had a little walk back to our camper, made our bed, shut the curtains, time for a drink, enjoy the view. The skyline is absolutely beautiful and hopefully the sun will be out tomorrow and maybe we might even go for a surf. Oh so yeah, definitely five stars out of five. 10 out of 10 of the food and as we smell. Slept like a log. Look at that view. Sea's there. <laughs> Breakfast time! I tell you what, crumpets in butter in a pan with some jam. Nicest camping food yet. <laughs> well we've just arrived in Newport in Pembrokeshire that is and we're just gonna have a little walk down Parog I don't even know if I'm going in the right place so there's just a beach there not sure if we're staying here yet but um, I'll let you know if there's anything to see Newport didn't last very long we got back in the car it started pouring and we never went for a walk on the beach <laughs> So we are now heading towards Cardigan and praying that it stops raining. Okay, so basically we went to Cardigan. Unfortunately, everything was shut. So if you are going to Cardigan, especially in a weekday, whatever you do, don't go there past four o'clock because everything's shut. We, we had a little walk around the market and around the village. It's a lovely little village, but everything was shut. All the shops were pretty much shut in. The castle was shut. But as we were outside the castle, we managed, uh, we bumped into a woman that was coming out of the castle and we've asked her, we asked her for somewhere to stay and she pointed us in the direction of Tlangranog. So we are currently in a campsite in Tlangranog uh, in the fields with Lovely and we're a 10 minute walk, hopefully, down a steep hill to a pub where we're about to go for food. I've had a lovely hot shower. Going for food there and just chill and then we'll hopefully walk back up the hill. There's a lovely beach here in Llangranog. I've never actually been. I know a lot of schools come for their holidays. So I'll give you the, I don't actually know the name of the place we're staying. So I'll check that out on the way out. And I'll let you know what the food is like. Apparently it's super nice homemade food. Yeah, I'll let you know how that goes on. That's where we're staying. This is our walk down to the pub. See how long it takes us. And I am getting in there tomorrow morning because it looks so pretty. That's where we had food last night. Oh, no, behind that. Zooming right in on Georgia. Right, on three, two, one. There's some facial jibs going on here. Ready, set, jump, get in. Come on. Crazy. <laughs> I think she said Father Christmas then. <laughs> lovely. It is lovely, but my whole body is burning. Well, I suggest you put some towel on now. No, it's quite nice. Say bye freezing for June it was like ice cold water but it was lovely feeling refreshed time for a cup of tea now and on to the next place put my bikini to dry maybe get in again have a pause just had our lunch and cake and coffee there which is absolutely lovely, lovely. and there's a beach there I don't think the video does it any justice beautiful highly recommend and we'll be coming back is mint which I feel like we've passed and we've gone round in a whole massive circle in the middle of nowhere but we are hopefully nearly there we've gone down a million country lanes like this lovely views 
windows and hopefully oh hello got another reverse if you're coming down here old school radio well i got my own radio show attack we will fight them on the beaches we will fight them on the landing ground